doing? That's fine. Can you unmute, allow me to yes, unmute my video? Oh, okay. Let me do that. Let me stop that. Uh, One second. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, hey, hey. How are you all doing? I'm super excited to be in your midst today. The boss himself, thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity. It's a great privilege to be in your midst today. You know, there is nothing like when the boss calls on you to come share some of the secrets to your growth in network marketing from to people who are hungry to learn from the industry and also grow their business. And asking someone that you've trained also to come teach other is truly a privilege. I'm super excited to be here. I've learned a lot from you in the industry and uh, I really want to appreciate what you have really done for many of us in network marketing and in the industry who are also doing well in different companies today. Today I will be sharing my story. The reason why the topic today, grind, <laughs> the reason why we went all out and burned the bridges without looking back to go grind and get the results we need to get. If you want to grind, if you want to get, if you want truly want to get the results you want in this business, which is very, uh, which is why we are working, you need to understand the word grind. Many of us say we are grinding but the truth is that many of us are playing with our business. Mm. Like I said, I started network marketing around 2006. That was when I started network marketing. That was when I also gained my job into the civil service. I spent 12 years in the civil service, living paycheck to paycheck while I was also doing other businesses. That was how I met my, my boss, you know, as that when he visited us in Asaba, I've heard so much about him. You know, wanted to just learn something that would help me grow in the industry. And truly, the knowledge I had today, I have today, started from when I saw him in, 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 in the industry. So that's how everything started. But since I've been in the industry, it's not, it's not a smooth journey. Mm. It's never a smooth journey. Because many people feel, many people are seeing my results today. I tell them, if you look back where, when I got started in the industry, you will not like my journey. But the truth is that what helped me in this journey was being consistent, showing up daily, grind, and never quitting. That was what helped me in the industry. And that is what I want to share with you. Before I joined my present company, things were not easy for me. Things were tough. Imagine doing a business where I don't, I'm, I, I'm, I mean, people are seeing, are seeing me as someone who is enjoying the lifestyle, but I don't have the money. Just like the people you see walking. Then some of them are driving buried cars, living in good houses, but they don't have money. And we need money to take care of our expenses. There is nobody today on here that does not need money. And so I was in a debt of over 15 million. My children were told where others were taking their children to school. Things were tough with me until because I had that passion grind period of not giving up, I joined my present company, resigned from my job as a civil servant when I've not even started seeing results because I knew what network marketing has done to a lot of people. Many people have succeeded in this industry 
But the thing is that I knew, Charles, you're not grinding enough. If you go all in and build, no, irrespective of what company, it's not, it's not about the company. That's why I've realized when I, when, when I got to the company I have now, I, 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 in my journey in network marketing, it's not about the company. It's about who you are. You know, when you were training us then, you always mentioned the need for one to become more. If you become more, if you learn what it takes to grow in this industry, you will discover that when you join any company, you will get to the top. I tell people, if you take me to a new company today, I will still get the kind of results I'll get today. Why? Because I understood the meaning of grind, the meaning of going all out in your business, knowing your why. Yes, I understood that. So it was not a smooth journey coming down to this level, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Right now, I don't think about school fees. I have I, I'm, I, someone that was struggling for rent that was giving quick notice. I don't, I don't, I don't have that challenges again. I have houses of my own. I I, I cannot help someone without thinking about the cost. Before, before now, if you hold me 10 naira, it's as, if, it's as if my life was attached to that money. Before now. But now, I don't think about even people who are hoeing me. Even if you are hoeing me, anytime you want to pay, pay. But do it with integrity. Do it with something that you will not take my kindness for granted because I said that I don't, I don't bother about it. But the truth is that money worry, money worry is deadly. It's deadly. And so when you think about your why, the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because it starts with your why. It starts with your goal. It starts with what you want to achieve in this business, in this profession. You can't just grind without knowing where you are going. You must know where you are going before you can now attach that into action. Because grinding has to do with action. Let's, 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 let's look at the definition of grinding. It has to do with action. So if you, if you perform a repeated action over and over again in order to attain your goal, it means you are grinding. So the word here is repetition, action over and over again, and there's a goal attached to it. You can't just grind without knowing where you're going. It's as if when you are going to a bus station, you are asking, you went to a bus station, and you're telling someone you want to, you are in, you are in Ojota. You know, you, you are supposed to go to VI. And you went to Ojota station and asked, man, I want to enter a bus. And they ask you, where are you going? You say, I don't know. Nobody can help you. Nobody, no matter how good the vehicle is, nobody can help you. So when you are grinding, you it is very important for you to know where you are going, your why. Why are you going there? It's very important. There is no destination without a direction. And that's why I love what the boss is doing today, giving you direction on how you need to grind. And in network marketing, the word grind will usually replace it with some challenges, 90 days challenge, going all in 14 days, 30 days, uh, 60 days, 90 days. But there must be days, there are certain period of time you want to achieve what you want to achieve. So when I joined my company, I gave myself a target. It means you must have a target. I gave myself a target that in 11 months, in less than a year, I want to become a director in my company. What's the meaning of goal? Goal means, goals are, are dreams with a deadline, right? So if you have a goal, I say, I, want, I, I love this car, I love these houses, I love this money, and you don't have 
you don't have uh, a deadline attached to it. It is not gold. It is not. So first thing first, have a target of where you're going. Have a target of what you want to achieve in the business you are into. That's the meaning of grind. What are, your, what are your goals in terms of rank, in terms of income, in terms of the lifestyle you want to achieve in your business? You must have these as a target. And these must be attached to your why. It must be attached to your why. When I started, because I don't want to give you a long story, I told you guys that my children were when, when you saw my, when, whenever you see my children before now, you'll be thinking, are they, are they okay? Are they, are they, are they what, are these children well taken care of? But now people don't talk about that. People are now asking, what are you giving your children? What are you giving them? My children, my family were my why. They were the reason why I all how to grind to build my business. So if you don't have a strong why, grinding will not be easy. You might be grinding because if you grind, there are certain things you are going to pass through when you go all out and do the action, daily action. That's what, that's the meaning of grind, daily activity. But when you're doing this daily activity, if you don't see the reason why you need to go all out and do daily activity in order for you to achieve your goals, you won't. You feel there's no need for me to go all out. So I was tired as a parent, working, unable to provide for my family, asking my family to manage, living a life of loan, Borrowing money, grown man like me, begging people all the time. You know that before before I can take care of my my family hospital bill or their school fees and the rest. So I say no, enough is enough. This time, any company I join, I will grind like crazy. I will go all out like a mad person. Many of us know what is giving us results but we don't do it. In order for you to have results in any business, forget about network marketing, it's not about network marketing. In any business, the beginning is always rough. And that is the grind period. You must go all out and make people recognize what you are into. And so make sure you have the reason why you, you need to go all out and grind. Before the 90 days, what do you want to achieve? In the next 90 days in your business, have a challenge. What do you want to achieve? What do you want to, what goals do you have in mind? How much do you want to earn? I ask my, I always tell my leaders, my team member, what amount of money do you think you will earn in this business in the next three to five years that will make you go all out in this business the way you are doing your job? If you have that kind of money. What will you do? Will you go? How, 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 how much time are you going to be spending in your business? That is what you want to have in mind when you want to grind. Results, there are, there are two things we can control in this. We, we, there are things we can control. There are things we cannot control in this business of an entrepreneur. In, in network marketing, as a businessman or woman, there are things you can control, there are things you cannot control. And so when you have a strong why, when you have a target of where you're going, draw out a game plan. If the target is so big, break it down into smaller goals. Maybe you want to achieve a rank of director in your company, in whatever business you are into. Before you reach the rank of director, there are, there are diamonds maybe ruby and the rest. In my company, there are diamonds, diamond one, two, three, one step at a time. Get clarity of what you want to achieve. The reason why many people are where they are is they don't even know what they are doing. 
They don't have clarity of why they are grinding, why they need to even do the work. And so you have to have clarity of why, of the target you've given to yourself. Be clear with it. Let it be something that is burning you, that is inside of you every day when you wake up in the morning. It is what you are saying. When I before I before I got to where I am as a director in my company, I was already announcing it. I was already telling people, guys, I want to become a director. Even when I was in the M1, I was preaching in my seminars, in my event. I am a star director. What gave me that? Wow, mindset, that belief was because there is already a footprint. There's already a footprint. Someone has achieved what I want in my life. So what I need to do is to do what that person has done in order for me to get to where I want to be. And so first thing, get a target, know why you need to grind. Get be clear of where you are going. Then break it down into smaller goals. Draw out a game plan. How many people? How many? How many uh, points? Or I you know what what connects many of us who are network marketers had a point, right? How many points do you need to get to? be free financially, to have financial freedom. What level in your company will make you be financially free? I knew that the only level I need to get to in my company is to be director because by then I'll be financially free. So what will I do now? Because I can't just get to director just, just like that. I must start somewhere. So what are my daily activity? What are my daily targets? Now I have a one year goal that in less than one year, I want to achieve this. But what is my daily target? What do I need to be doing daily? Ladies and gentlemen, I told you I burned my bridges, so I, I, there was no option for me again. The reason why many people are not doing well in network marketing or in any business they are into is because they have a lot of options. And so if this doesn't work, they can fall into the other one. And so they don't put in their best. They don't go all in to do the business. I listened to one, 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 uh, one of the best motivational talk on the internet in, in the internet uh, by Schwarzenegger. He mentioned it. The people don't have people have plan B. The reason why they are not doing well is because they have a plan B. And I agreed with him because if you have so many things that you can fall back to, you will not do one thing well to get the results you want to get. Focus on the activity. <laughs> that's the word. <laughs> Allah, Miji. Allah, that's the word. Focus on the activity because that's the activity that will give you results. And so I had no any other option. Where will I go? Nowhere. I can't, I can't, I can't be going back again to be begging. This time, this activity, when I see people making money here, yeah, I need to do the activity. So on my WhatsApp, I groups, I created a group, went on Facebook, social media. I don't, I don't want to care what responses people will give to me because it is expected. It is expected that people will respond negatively to you. Because if you if you don't expect, if you don't have the right expectation, the grind will not be easy. So bag yourself with the right expectation. Knowing that if it so be, it is up to you. You must win or win. No any other option. And so you have to do the activity. You have to do the activity. We all do the same activity in our business. Whether you are not in network marketing or you are in network marketing. We all do the same thing. But it is that in network marketing, we all do the same thing. So why is it that some people are having results Why others are not having results? According to Jim Rohn, Jim Rohn said, others are doing it more, why others are not? 
He said, if you talk to 100 people and I talk to two people, we can't just have the same results. And so you need to share your business opportunity to people. Money is in the hands of people. Money is in the hands of people. So talk to people. Daily, I was talking to 50 to 100 people. I didn't get to my, my level just sitting down, hoping and wishing that I should become a director. No. I didn't get. And so daily, I was exposing my business to people I don't know. I'm, I don't care about how they respond because I know I, have, I expected it. I have seen that industry. I've been in the industry now for 15 years. And so I know how people respond as if we don't have business. We have business. People see there are different kinds of professionals in this business. But when they see us, they feel that we don't have a job. We don't, these are, these are jobless people. So it is expected. And it's not just peculiar to network marketing because many people feel the, the rejection is only in network marketing. No, before I bought the, my, the, the property I have, I visited so many other properties before I choose the one I have. So what happened to the person who showed me those other properties? He got a no from me. He got a no. So <laughs> I rejected them. So it's not peculiar to us. Rejection is part of the process for you to get to where you want to be. And so grind means get ready to do the activity repeatedly, repeatedly, mm. repeatedly, every day. How many people do you need to talk to? Forget about the results. Forget about the results. You need the result, fine. What you cannot control, do what you can control. And what is the control? Activity. Activity. That's what you can control. So how many people do you want to expose your business to? Every day. How many people do you want to do presentation to? How many people do you want to follow up? How many people do you want to close? What if they reject you? What do you need to do? That's what you need to concentrate on. Forget about if they will join or not. Don't bother yourself if people will join you. The people who get to the top of our company, the top of any of industry today, started from the ground. They started from nowhere. The number two in my company was celebrating 800,000 people. You know what I said to many of my team? How did she get 800,000 people in our network? Our leaders were celebrating 1 million people. Two million people. They started from where? They started from the ground. They started when they had nobody in the business. But what if they were concerned about the number of people they are going to get for them to become financially free? Do you think they will get to where they are today? Not at all. What if I was concerned about the number of people I need to have for me to be financially free? Do you think I'll get to where I am today? What if Dan Gote was concerned about the number of people that will buy his product? Will he be a billionaire today? No. He wasn't concerned about the number of people. He was concerned about what he needs to do to attract these people to come and buy for me. So what do you need to do for you to attract people to come and buy for you? The principle still stands, guys. Principle in business never changes. It is still the same all over the world. And the, great, the leaders in the world, the, the, 
great entrepreneurs in the world are still mentioning it. How much value are you giving out there? How much value are you giving out there? That's it. You know the principle? Be, do, have. You know what people want to do now? They want to have before they, they do, before they now yeah, yeah, be, do, have. Yeah, they want to have before they do, before they can, they now become. That's the principle. When I realize that for me to have success in this business, I need to work on me. I need to become a leader. I need to become who people want to follow. I need to grind, grind my life first, work on myself, start learning from successful people, not people who, who want to pull you down. I start avoiding some, some people, you know, start as, disassociating myself from some certain group of people and start associating myself with some with people that are where I want to be. Before I now you know, started doing what I needed to do to not have the kind of result I want to have. The principle is sure. It's sure that if you do, you must have. But if you don't do, and you are expecting that you will have nothing. I still recruit people into my business. I have in, 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 in less than three years, I have 56,000 people. I still recruit people. I still do the activity because I know that's what I'm con in control of. I'm not in control of the results. The results will come, but I need to do what will give me the results. That's, 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 that's the secret of being grind. So when you give yourself 90 days to grind, without target, there's no way you have. When people say, yeah, don't work. I gave myself target, personal target. Your company will have their own target for you. They have promos and the rest. But you have to give your own self, you give yourself target. How long will you continue to be where you are? How long do you want to get out of it? You must take the bull by the horn, go all out. How many people are you talking to every day about your business? I gave myself 50 to 100 people until I saw someone walking to 300 people every day in his business. I told myself, I've not even started. <laughs> I've not started every day, online, offline, every day, every day, like a bad person, obsessed. The person is obsessed. Or do you know what that person is earning now in his business? He's earning over a million dollars every month. It is activity. Let me use, put the hold here. It is activity. You must go all out and show up every day. Every day you show up in the road and don't be worried about the result. The result will show. It's a must. When the weather, when the weather, when the weather is cloudy, it shows that it wants to rain. It must rain. Once it's cloudy. So when you do the activity, you must get the result. But if you don't do the activity and feel, oh, it's for my upline. I, the, uh, I don't think I can do this. Huh? This is not for me. I need to go and find something else. Let me tell you, there are three things that will happen when you are doing the, when you are going through the grind, when you are doing your activity, when you are grinding your business. Number one, you will ask yourself, it is not, you will tell yourself it's not worth it. That's what you tell yourself. You say it's not worth it. During the, the grind stage, during the right stage, it's not worth it. 
you'll be putting in so much effort. That's the stage, that's the phase you put in so much effort and you're not seeing results. You're not seeing results for what you're doing. You're not, you're tired. You are putting in so much effort. You are doing seminars. You are talking to groups of people, association. Locate people. That's the, that's, the, that's the hardest phase in the business, in this business. Locate people to talk to. You're going all out. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. You know what should take you out of that phase in this business is your why, your vision of where you are going. And you must have a stamina. This business is not for lazy people. Network marketing is not for lazy people. You must have stamina. If you don't have stamina, please go and take energy drink. Have stamina to go grind, to go do the activity. Don't do today and leave tomorrow. You must show up daily, daily in your business. And if you're showing up daily in the business, you will now move to the next phase of the business. And that phase, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and that phase is when you will not tell yourself it is worth it. That's the second phase. You started seeing results coming into your business. People are joining. Some of your team members are doing their work. They are doing their activity without you bothering them, without you talking to them. You have leaders who are not taking responsibility. That's the phase. But you must pass through these phases. You can't jump it. If you jump any of these phases, you will come back to it. That's it. It's a process. It's like becoming more first before you do more and have more. And so you pass through that phase. Then you now enter that phase. You are, you are now a mentor to so many people. You are training them. You are doing you know, a lot. Then you now enter the final phase. The final phase is when you tell yourself, man, you'll be, you'll be telling yourself, asking yourself, am I worth this much? Am I worth this much? That's what you'll be telling yourself. Looking back from where I was struggling, I was unable to pay my children's school fees, they are, they are at home. I lost two of my babies because I was unable to pay their hospital bill. Struggling with rents, creditors knocking. Now in a phase where all these things I don't think about again. Then you tell yourself it is worth it. Sometimes my wife and I will sit, to, sit with each other. We will be together and be asking ourselves, like, what happened? In just two years, in just three years. This is what we have achieved. We are not even where we want to be. We are not relaxed. We are still grinding. We still do challenges. We still do 30 days challenge, 90 days challenge. Because you need to be doing, if you really want to build this business, you have to be doing this 90 days game plan. I learned the power of 90 days from Eric Worry, and it has really helped me in my business. Going all in is not all through the year. You can do it two times in a year or three times in a year. Go all in, 90 days. If you can't do 90 days, do 30 days. That these 30 days, every morning before 12 noon, you must have spoken to 20, 50, 50 people, I mean. Give yourself that target. I will expose my business to 50 to 100 people every day. Whether they join or not, they should know what I'm doing so that they will join me. I know how people will not join you. Did you know how many people I've spoken to only this week alone? And I have some of the, 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 I have people who have joined me, new people into the business. You must bring in new people. You don't need to be a manager. You don't need to be a manager in network marketing. We don't manage anyone. We lead people. We tell people. How do you lead people? You show them what you, they need to do, not tell them. You show them that you two are grinding. So I'm all in. Someone, one of my team members was sharing with his prospect. Oh, God said this street with us. Yes, I did street. 
I'm in the streets. That's where the money is. When you play the manager, you lose your members. Everybody becomes manager in the business. And so you must experience these three phases in your business if you truly want to grind. I tell you, if you grind, you do the activity. Grind means to perform repetitive, repetitive actions over and over in order to attain a goal. And so what are the repetitive actions? Repetitive actions is looking for prospects, talking to them. You want to use the words we use? Respecting, presenting, follow up, and closing, or you sign them up, then you train them. You don't just bring people into the business without you telling them what they need to do to grow. And what do you train them on? You train them on this repetitive actions in your business. They need to do it also. They need to follow you to do these actions daily, every day. And I tell you, if you go all in and do massive activity, going all in, talking to one-on-one -on -one people, two-on-one, -on -one, three-on-one groups, association, union, sharing your business opportunity to them, there is no way you get you will not get people to join you. I have seen that happen to people I train. I've seen them. Those who apply my training, those who are doing the activity are surely having results. I have seen that happen to people in the industry. Check out those who are successful in network marketing. Check out those who are entrepreneurs. They don't just do their business like a hobby. They grind. They show up daily, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, even Sunday. They show up daily. So tell your family before you go all here. I told my family when I came on board my, my present company, I said, honey, it is time. You know what? You will give me time. I'm going all in 90 days. And this is what I want to achieve. This is the rank I want to achieve. This is the money I will earn. I've studied this business. If I earn this money, I will give you 1.5 million. Let's start with that. Then I will pay for our, 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 our loans. The money we are owing people. So have that discussion with your family. Don't stop confusing your family members. They don't even know if you are in business or you are not because you are not showing them you are into a business. You're not even, they are not even seeing you doing the activity, but you are telling them you're going to take care of them. Many people are like that. They talk too much, but they don't take action. This business is all about action. It's not about talking. It's not about wishing. It's not about telling. It's action. Going all out and do the activity that will give you the results. If you do this activity, if you go all in, you will surely have the results you want to achieve in your life. How do you go? I learned this from a quarry. Many of us here were not known before. Nobody knew what Wuchas Tambo was. So today I am speaking in an international stage. Here today I have people from different companies me to come and do presentation to their people. What got me to where I am is God, I believe strongly in God. I don't play with that. But sometimes many of us here, we hide under the cover that is God do, and we don't tell people what it is they need to do. God has the ultimate praise. But you need to tell people what God made you to do. And that's the activity. Going all in. <laughs> to grind, to do the activity. And so I I, I I have that going from invisible to average. Like Gory said, it's all about recruiting. Recruiting people into your business. If you want to be, if you want to go from invisible to average, you have to recruit people into your business. Then if you want to go from average 
to a legend. Those are the three phases, to a legend. Invisible to average recruiting, from average to a legend, you need to have duplication in your business. Your pe the people you are in introducing into the business need to recruit others. And now as a legend, what do you not do? You start promoting. Legends are promoters of events. You say you want to grind. You say you want to have results in your business. They don't see you in seminars. They don't see you in events. If you're not coming, you don't promote it. Please, there's no result for you. Because it all, it works together. You must become more. How do you become more? Going to seminars, attending events, doing your own events, learning from those who are there. Then you apply what they are teaching you. Then you will not have the results you want to achieve. And so I hope you got value tonight. Grind. If you do those activities repeatedly, committed to it, going all in, I guarantee you, you will have results. Thank you very much for having me tonight. Thank you very much, uh, Charles. <laughs> Thank you so much. So what we're going to do is, what we're going to do is, we're going to have question and answer session. Uh, so if you would like, if you would like to ask a question, uh, please, it's time to ask questions. Um, thank you very much for that presentation, Charles Tambu. I think uh, the message is very clear, you know, very, very clear. Uh, if you want to achieve success in this business, you need to learn how to grind. You need to do activity. And, you know, so please prepare your questions. If you have questions, there's a question and answer box there. And if you want to ask the questions uh, audibly, you can raise up your hand so that I can, I can give you an opportunity to ask questions. I would like a few people to ask questions. And I will start, I will start uh, Charles. Now, um, okay. sometimes people may not know how difficult it is to do what you did in 11 months. You know, I'm not sure people know how difficult that is. So if you can share with us, how many people did it mean you needed to have in your team? to reach that level? How big did you need to grow your team? And, you know, um, you know, just give us a, a, an idea of the, the number of people that you needed to drive to make that happen uh, so that we can know what, you know, what, how much effort. And then people also don't understand when you said in the early days, it's not worth it. People are wondering, ah, but I'll be any money on the early days now, it's, it's, it's worth it. You know, can you give us very clear ideas of how if you don't have staying power, you are likely to give up because you say, ah, this money, is this, is this why I'm working so hard? You know, so maybe you can just give a little more clarity about that so that why people are prepared okay. to answer the questions here. Uh, for, 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 for me to be a director in my company in 11 months, you know, everything has to do with the points you need to accumulate. Yeah. And depending on what package people are coming in with. Yeah. Some people got over 50,000 people in their network and they are still not director. Maybe mm -hmm. they are not the, the the points people came in with are just uh, not uh, higher points, lower point. Mm. But some people became director, just less than 10,000 people mm. because the people understood the business. You know, the average is this. If you have, I have 56,000 people in my network. Does not mean that all of them are working. True. They are not, they are not. The, the people who are, who are working in, whatever number you have is they're not up to 2%, 2%, let's say 5% of the total number I have in my network. So it means that in network marketing is just the, is 5%. That's the expectation. So mm -hmm. if you, if you have 100,000 people, for instance, in your network, expect that the people that will be giving you, that will give you the results of that business is 50. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do when you are recruiting people into the business, recruit people, train them, but focus more on the numbers. The numbers is very important. Mm. It's very important. Have the numbers, get people on board, help them or great, teach them. It's going to take a lot of work, serious work to do that. Because like I said, the beginning is, it's not worth it. It's not worth it because when you see the money coming in, 
like my first earning was 160 naira. Uh, mm -hmm. And I, I have left the civil service. So I would mm -hmm. like to go back and be saying, I have 160 naira. <laughs> left a job that was paying me 60,000 naira. Hey! But I don't start. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go and beg my, my employer. I need to come back. So if you're not careful, you'll say, ah, man, this money I'm earning is not worth it. What kind of money is this? This money is too small. Let me just go look for a job. For those of us who don't have jobs. So, mm -hmm. Some people, uh, for instance, in my business, a lady I sponsored into the business once came to me and said, uh, boss, I, I'm not doing uh, this business again. I want to go and look for a job. I said, okay, how much do you say they will pay you? She said they will pay her 60,000 naira. I said, okay, I will pay you the 60,000 naira for you to continue doing this business. Leave the job. There's nothing wrong doing the job. You, you are going to learn a lot of skills there, but the truth is that it's not compared to the money you're going to earn when you build your network of people, when you build your business. So I encourage her. She now went yeah. back to her husband and said, look, oh, because I was buying Indomie from this woman on credit. Indomie. And now she has joined me. Someone from nowhere came and distracted her and said, look, I've got, you have, I've got a job for you. Come and work with us. I said, woman, I know the kind of person you are. You're a businesswoman. Don't go and tie yourself somewhere. You, you will not have this kind of time freedom you have. Mm. We've been there. If I left there, you should understand. Mm -hmm. And so we'll pay you, do your business. Today, that woman has earned nothing less than 20 to 30 million wow. in, in, her, in her business. Wow. And so she's grateful for a business she started nothing because she had no money. So is, is that, that there, there will be period where you feel you should throw in the towel. There's, there's, no, there's no need for you to do this business because it's not compared to where you're coming from. Especially those who are bankers, who are who are earning big money, and they are seeing a business that is paying them small money. We've had so many of them continue their what they are doing and left. They left their business. They left their plan B until they were sacked or something happened to them. They will not come back. Hey, it's like I register in one business. So let me go and pack my loan <laughs> and start the business. <laughs> So it's, it, you and, and at the same time, the people you introduce into the business, many of them will leave you. Mm. They will leave you. Mm. They will go join other things. Mm. So you feel, man, why don't I leave also? Let me go also. Let me live with them. If you don't have staying power. Mm. Mm. So you must have a staying power. And so even if they leave, it's part of the process. I was told. So that's why when you're bringing new people into the business, I tell people, help them have the right expectation. When people were leaving, I thought, but I told you, they will leave. It's not today. It's part of the process. So I expect it so that when, when this thing comes, like in, in, in the book GoPro, GoPro mentioned it, that when you are in your down moment, if I make a call to you, yep. I hope you will answer. Yep. Yep. So it's part of the expectation. Yeah. But some will not answer your call again as if you are the one who put them there. That they will blame everything, blame the hotline and say, you introduced me to this business and you abandoned me. But you told them, look, these things will come. Up. I asked someone I, I introduced into my business now. She has a private, a private business where she controls thousands of women. Mm. Do you know that since she joined my business, nobody agreed to join her? Wow. And she was the one who gave these women platform where they are marketing their products. Mm. So what if I didn't tell this woman and say, look, this is what you expect to. Don't be carried away that because you have this what? groups of women, they will join you immediately. I told her, look, they will not join you. They will laugh at you. But if you stay committed, they will join you. Mm. That is awesome. awesome, awesome. Thank you very much, Charles uh, Tambo. Any other questions in the house tonight before we draw the curtains? Is there anybody who wants to ask a question? Please show your hand or chat in the box that you want to ask a question so that your questions can be answered. 
you know, we teach people questions are the answers. Sometimes the answer is hiding there, just waiting for your question. And people, there's a lot more to gain from asking questions than you gain from even listening. So if you're here today and you want to ask very quickly, we have an opportunity for two or three people to ask questions uh, and then we can come to a close. Um, so while, while we're waiting for people to put their questions together, you know, uh, I want to say well done, Charles. Uh, your, your work, your grind, your results are, are outstanding, you know, and they are speaking ahead for you as well. Um, you know, many people, I know many people have been in the business you've been for years and what you have achieved in that period of time, it has taken them nine years to achieve. It has taken them seven years to achieve. And I know that there's no other way. Yeah, I know there's no other way it's done except you really go all out and go all in and tell yourself, you know what, uh, it's either I perish or I perish. <laughs> enough is enough. We learned, you, we learned that from you, so we need to. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay, so um, anyone wants to ask a question today? Anybody? Um, you know, that's, that's why I, 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 I titled my book Disrupt, because mm. Mm. The, there are so many patterns disturbing us in our business. And if you don't work on those patterns, there's no way. There's mm. no way you have results in the business. Mm. And so many of, many of us, we have job mentality mm. until we are directed. Mm. We don't direct our business. Mm. And so when you come to the business world, you have to just learn how to start directing yourself every day because nobody to direct you. You must work every day going all out to do your business. So you must, for you to disrupt that pattern, it means you need to work on your mindset. Awesome. Now, so let me let me mention this before we, you know, I like the fact that you, could, you mentioned that. The, you know, Charles has written a book called Disrupt. I think it's a book that everybody who is serious about their network marketing business needs to buy. Because usually when you step into this business, you want to change the order of things. People are going nowhere. Financial freedom is what one in a hundred people in America achieve. In Nigeria, is one in a thousand. If you will make your story different, you will need to disrupt the normal order in which your life is going. And that is not by paying lip service to what you want to achieve. It's about grinding. So I have a copy of his book. I think you should get a copy as well. Uh, if you are interested, we'll find a way through Olamiji to ensure that you can get copies of the book. So let her know, let Olamiji know so that we can secure some copies and ensure that you can have them as well. I think it's a book that everyone should have and read uh, because it's, it's, it's not talking from theory, it's experiential. You know, and that's the best book to read. Somebody who has gone the journey before you and tells you this is what I did, this is how I did it, and you can do it like that as well. We have two questions in the house quickly today. Uh, first person is asking a question. They said, how much? How much is the book again? It's 5,000 for the book. The workbook is now 2,000. Okay, so the book is 5,000. For, for this, for the, the book is 5,000, the workbook is 2,000, that's 7,000. But for this event, anyone here, uh, because of this, I'll give them the workbook for free. So 5,000, they okay, get the so workbook. So you get 5,000, you get the book and the workbook free. Thank you very much, Charles. Very, 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 very good. Thank you. There's a question here. It says, when they join and leave, what exactly can be done to build a good team? You know, if people are joining and they're leaving, how do I ensure that I'm building a good team? That's somebody's question. And then it says, how do you change your mindset? Kindly highlight that process. How do I change my mindset? When, when, they, when people join and leave, they most times want to blame, want to blame our team. Because mm. We feel uh... okay. It's hanging here. I don't know if it's this network or mine. Uh, if you are in the house and you can hear me, but you can't hear him, uh, say I can hear you, so that I know it's not my link. It's his own link. Okay. Um, I think it's frozen here. You can hear me. Okay, good. So maybe something went with the link. As soon as it comes, it will continue. Uh, okay, great. So I think uh, it's probably, something probably logged him out. Uh, we'll wait for him to come back. Okay. Um, 
But ladies and gentlemen, okay, I think once he comes back, I will add him again. Uh, I think there's a lot, you know, for us to learn. I can see one other hand up, Holmes, uh, who wants to ask a question as well. When he's back, he will answer the questions that you have asked. But let me let me also chip this in. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you are going to achieve success in this business, you are going to need to treat it like a business, you know. And all this talk about 90 days grind, 60 days grind. What we're currently doing is a 21 day challenge. And for many of us, we are not doing the challenge. And it's a challenge where we are being compensated to do the challenge. You know, normally the challenge, there's no nothing to win, no price. So expect that once this challenge ends, it's not likely to have to come in this format again. Because the challenge is something yourself, and you tell yourself, I want to drive my business to end so that I can, you know, I can solve my wise. I think he's back in the room now. I will allow him to answer the questions uh, very quickly as well. You can unmute. Yes. So, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I forgot I wasn't charging my Wi-Fi. So, when people leave, you want to ask yourself why they are leaving. Can you hear me? Why are they leaving? Loud and clear. Then you want to check why. Uh, is it your fault? Is it, is it your fault or is it their fault? So, you want to see that I hope as a leader you're not doing something wrong. That's why they are leaving. But the thing is that you should know that it's part of the process. People will surely leave. It's not because you're a bad leader. No. Mm. Because everybody have their dream and goals in this business. And it's not everybody that wants to get to the top of this business. Stop pushing people who are not ready to get to the top of this business. Mm. Some people just want to get, for instance, now, I want to make 100 million. Mm. And as a leader, if you're not careful, you want to be driving people in your network to still come and make the same money. Not everybody wants to make that kind of money. Mm. Some people just want to come in and make 1 million and go. So people just want to buy, just want to qualify for the car and the trip. Mm. And it's not everybody that wants to get to director's level. Mm. <laughs> so okay. if you push everybody the same way you are pushing the, the eagles in your network, no, you will lose them. Mm. So get, get to know the reason, the why, I mean you, then work with your why, why? So that you don't lose them, you don't come, you don't, you don't gather them in the same place because you must be you must do a process of separation you must separate your your egos from those who just want to become customer and just build a little there are some people who want to grind so don't put them together they ask yourself i hope you're not doing that because that will scare them away so people will leave you because you are pushing them too much why some will wants to be pushed. Some people want the fire. They want to burn. They want you to burn them. And so they are ready to go anywhere with you. They are ready to die with you. They want to do the business. And so those are the people you want to grind with. You want to work with. And so know these people. Know your people while they are living. But after doing all as a leader and people still leave, it's part of the process. Then how do you recruit? putting people into your business. Never. The leaders you have, you can get them. Make sure people are joining your business. New bloods are joining your business and you are training them on how to train, them, how to do their business. Mm. Then for men, for mindsets, mindsets is a whole lot of journey. As, as I'm here, I'm still, still, I'm still working on my mindsets, guys. Because can you imagine something you get, you were born with, you grew up with for many years, and you're expecting that in just one year, two years, you want to clean that slate? It's not easy. Sometimes it comes up. And so what do you do when it comes up? When What do you do when you have the wrong mindset or things that are not supposed to things that are not helping you to build your business comes to your mind. You need to listen to people who are already where you want to be. Look for mentors. 
read their books, follow them like crazy. You must not be, it's not, you must not be people you see. Like a lot of your book, we have watched your seminars, I will still, if you look at our presentation, you will still see you. <laughs> <laughs> You will still see your, you will still see you in our journey. All the world, all of us that are claiming financial and business coach and the where the answer is still you. So it's looking for looking at people who are already where you want to be. Follow them. I have a new, I have a mentor, Grant Cardon. I have Eric Worry. I have Stormy Wallace. I look at people. Somebody is earning one million dollar in a month. Mm. I uh and I, I uh <laughs> and um I am many that much in the month. Who do I want to follow? Is mm. it the, my father or my hands are not doing anything? Who are not earning anything? Or people who are earning the kind of money I want to earn? Because I said in the next five, ten years, I want to have my own private jet. So I will follow those who have so that I will know how to build their private jet, how they build their business, how they grind. If you truly want to grind this business, follow Grand Cardon. He's obsessed in grinding. Mm. He shows up daily. That's why I hold it. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, somebody asked a question. It says, how kindly Hello? mentioned. Hello, I'm with you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh oh. Yes. There's a question here. Kindly mentioned different Hello? ways. To meet new people so, to present. Uh, there, there are some books you need to read. I recommend Think and Grow Rich when it comes to working on your mindset. Get that book, Think and Grow Rich. Get great books. We have our boss have some books that will also help you. Paradigm shift. It's very important that you read those books. Follow people who are doing the activities. So that when you wake up in the morning, you feel like you don't feel like doing activity. What helped me is I just play the video, play the recordings that will push me up and go do the activities. Okay. Network awesome. is breaking. I hope you can hear me well. I can hear you, yes. I'm hearing you. I think there's a little bit of a delay in the network. Okay. I think, uh, thank you very much, Charles. There's a... Are you there? I can hear you. There's somebody called Holmes who is raising up their, her hand. Please unmute, ask your question, and then that will be the last question we'll take. Thank you very much. Holmes, you can ask. Yes, go ahead. Oh, I don't have any question. Oh, we saw your hand up. Okay, that's no, fine. no question. It must be a mistake. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Hello. You. Yeah, I'm with you. Somebody is asking how can they meet, how can they get to meet people that they will introduce their business to? How can they meet more people that they will introduce their business to? The network is breaking where I am. I can't uh, hear you clearly. I'm typing it. I've typed it there. How can they meet more people to introduce their business that, to? How, how can they meet more people to introduce their people, their business to? Hey, people are everywhere. Yes, sir. People are everywhere. You must learn the skill because that's, the, that's one of the best skills you need to learn. Because if you run out of people to talk to, you have no business. So there is no there is no presentation, there is no follow up, there is no training when you don't have people to talk to. So daily you can use the internet, you can use social media. If you don't, if you are someone who is shy and you don't like going all all in code marketing because we have one code. Like I love, I I I am used to code marketing. I'm that shy type before. But now I'm used to code marketing. I can approach anyone. Today now I was driving. I saw someone, a, a young lady that was selling a meat pie. I just called her. I said, oh, this, I will need this kind of person in my business because she's already 
I call and say, hi, how are you? How much is your business? And shared my business opportunity with her. And I met, I did, I did Facebook hard. Learn the skills. They are free. Go on YouTube, make YouTube your university. That was where I was learning stuff before I started paying for stuff. Mm. I learned free before I started paying. 2000 and mm. like 2019, that is early 2019, 2020, we faced the heat of COVID. Between late 2019, 2018, I paid over 6 million naira for a training. Mm. Awesome, awesome. So you, you, you can learn, you need to learn these skills. They are very important for your growth, how to approach people, how to talk to people, because there are people everywhere. Awesome. In Nigeria, we have about 200 million. In my company, we are not up to 2 million yet. In other companies. So network marketing is not even saturated. We are just, some of us, we are just, in, in this profession, we're just turning around each other. <laughs> Instead of going to bring new people into the business, there are more out there you need to know about. Yes, we're just turning around looking for people who are in the same profession. Instead of going out and grooming new people, I am grooming new people now. Hey, are you in it? No. New people have not even network marketing. They want network marketing. Is. So use social media. Social media right. works. 90% of my team members are from social media. 90%. It works these days. Everything awesome. now is going on already. We're already making plans next week for me to come and speak to our group. Just an advert, sharing my story. I boosted the story and got a lot of people. Out of 4,000 people that liked my post, only one person indicated interest to join me. Mm. 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 And that one person has crowd. Awesome. You know, she has crowd. So that's it. Awesome. Thank you very much, uh, Charles Tambo. Uh, for those who are in the house today, I hope you have got so to daily. Me. Talk to new people. Talk to new people every day. Awesome. 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 So I hope you've gotten some value today, everyone. I'd like you to please jam your hands together, celebrate Charles Tambo with me. Please put your hands together for him. Help me jam your hands together. Let me see your emoticons. Let me see your excitement. Let me hear your thank you. Let me hear your, you know, grateful, grateful. And let me hear your commitment. I will not hear this alone. I will take action, okay? Because it's not in the volume of what we hear. It is in what we decide to do with what we have heard. And if you have got some value today, please just jam the hands together and say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And make up your mind that you will take massive, massive action. You know, that you take massive action. You know, sometimes when you hear some of these things, you ask yourself, ah, okay, am I doing enough? Ladies and gentlemen, you probably are not doing enough. Uh, if you are doing enough, you will get results that will be enough in time. And I like those three faces. First, it don't, yeah, it's not worth it. Second, it is making sense. It begins to worth it. And third, you begin to ask yourself, am I worth this? Yes. That I'm getting. Okay? Am I worth the result that I'm getting? Thank you very much, Charles. It's been fun having you here today. Uh, I hope we'll do this again and again and again and again. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, as well. Uh, I think wow. it's been awesome value. Thank you. Boss, global bosses. <laughs> of the global bosses. So for those who want the book, for the book, please book with Olamiji. For those who book from this session, you will get the book for 5,000 and the workbook free. So please, in the groups, let Olamiji know you are interested so that we can collate the people that are interested together and we can get the books from him and make it available to everyone who is here as well. Olamiji's number is there on the page. Send her a WhatsApp message. She will collate your numbers and collage your payments, and we can get the book disrupt for as many as are interested. Thank you very much. Uh,
co uh, boss Charles Tambo. It's been a pleasure having you around today. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, go all in and get to the top of your business. Bye, everyone. Thank you.